Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to be talking about why you would see a pesky little asterisk um, when you are blending data sources, and then we're going to talk about how you can get rid of those. So first, let's go ahead and uh, do some things here. So I've uh, connected to some data about grades, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our test date. Um, and I want to look at all the tests that were in October of 2017. And I'm going to pull out my class here, also to my rows shelf. And you can see that in October of 2017, we had tests in both English and math. Now, I also have a sheet that gives us the grades with the test date. So let's take a look by student at some of the grades that they got in those tests in October of 2017. So we'll drag out student here. We're gonna drag out grade. And you can see um, everything lines up nicely. We get a nice row for each additional row of information in our database. Now, that becomes a problem if I go and I drag out my class here. Now you can see that the links, I have a link on test date. So I can drag out something from this test dates data set. I could drag out class here and I could put it in front of month. But when I do that, I get an asterisk. And let's take a look at uh, why that is happening. All right, so in October of 2017, there were we know that there were two different classes. There was a math class, we figured that out before, and an English class, which means that this join is a one-to-many join because we had, have two different classes, so one month, but different classes, so a one-to-many join. The problem with that is that when we have two different blended data sources, both have to be aggregated, or they have to be aggregated rather, the fields to be used between them. So when we bring in this class, it's aggregating it with this attribute function. Now an attribute function returns the value of the field, if there's only one value in the field, or it returns the an asterisk if there's more than one value in the field. So because we have more than one value in this field, that's why we're getting that, that asterisk. Now, we can try and solve that by pulling this to the beginning, but obviously that still uh, gives us this, this asterisk. So what we have to do is we have to try and convert this to be not a one-to-many join. And the way to do that is to get really detailed. So we're going to have to bring out, let's bring out class first. And then we're going to bring out test dates. Notice I'm bringing out test date from the same, the same data source. Get rid of quarter. I'm also going to bring out the day of the test because I need each individual one. Otherwise I'm going to get asterisks. I'll show you what happens actually when I get, um, when we bring out student. See how when we bring out student, we get an asterisk again, because there's multiple values in student for every day of this test. The same thing would happen if we bring out the grade over here, right? So we can't do it that way. So the way to do it, we have to start with our most detailed data set. Our most detailed data set is this grade data set. So we have to bring out the test date but then we have to expand our test date all the way out to be at the date level. And now, when I go to test dates here and I bring out the class, because there's only one value for each date, you'll see that we get the actual class as opposed to just getting an asterisk as we were getting here or as we were getting here, right? Because there is only one class for each test date. And then, I can bring out the student and I can bring out the grade for each student with each class in there. So bottom line, you have to make sure if you want to get rid of one of those asterisks that you are not doing a one to many join somewhere. Uh, and usually the way to do that is to take your data all the way down to the most detailed level. Uh, otherwise you're gonna to have to figure out how to use the data sets in conjunction to get to the detail level that you want, but without doing any one to many joins on uh, your data source. Of course, the other option is to go into the uh, the data source itself. And instead of using a blend, we could take this test dates 
piece of information, this test dates data set that gives us the class. And then we can have it join, you see, on the test date. And that will allow us to use the class at the row level without the data blending. And that will also allow us to avoid that asterisk if we do that because we're doing the, the one to many join in the data source instead of by data blending that will allow us to uh, to bring in the class without ending up with an asterisk every time we have multiple dates. Uh, so that does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions then please leave them in the comments. As always there is a link to the workbook and to the data set in the video description and if you like what you hear and you like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please hit subscribe and we will see you next time.